welcome back to the channel and today I have an amazing video for you today we have a 3v3 we have Swaby who's sending out some cavalry should be told I played as a Swaby faction here we have mostly uh we have our Bernie and this other faction I've never seen before and who are we going up against? We are going against Swaby. Uh, I don't know what this faction was either. Epirus as well. Now Epirus and all of them have a lot of forces. They have a lot of forces, yes, but their army is so far out. Epirus, the other faction, and... Swaby, their forces are quite far out. My allies took up the uh, task of defending the front area, the main attack spot. Of course, I have some mercenary spears close by to support, but I was more worried of them gain a foothold here. So I had quite a force, uh, a few units prepared in case they did decide to strike. I also send out cav forces, you can see, they're roaming around the land. Again, this battle doesn't really kick off too fast. But let's go over the um, army column. So, Arverni has a lot of uh, archers along these walls. Huntsmen. Honestly, uh, if he was going to set... Like, if he had this many archers, I would say put them all on, like, uh, fire arrows so they could burn down the siege towers. That's what I would say. But he's using standard shot for some reason. I have my own artillery piece here. He also has quite a few warriors and all that all spread about. We also have my allies faction. Which is him. Uh, they're going to hold out here for as long as possible. This battle goes on for almost an hour. And you can see that I have some cavalry sallied out here. I, I do something special with them here in a moment. Oh, it seems like Swaby... This is Swaby's cav. No, this is actually another pro opponent's cavalry. Uh, looks like he's trying to chase down my cav. But that's what I want him to do. I want him to chase down my cavalry. Now this is light cav. These guys will get slaughtered by this cavalry here. Actually, th this may be a light cav unit. What cav unit is this? Oh no, these are lancers. Ooh. Look here. Oh, there's another. Oh, these poor... These poor cavalrymen breaking to the sheer force of the catapult. Oh, a direct hit. Okay, it looks like he did change the fire arrows here. Probably helping to burn the uh, siege towers. My opinion, I think he should have done this a lot earlier. It, just my opinion. Now over here, uh, they are moving up their battering ram. They are attacking from two different fronts. They are attacking this front, which... Yeah, I saw the advantage of the, the siege tower falling. Burning, so I did a quick cav charge. I think gained a few kills. Yeah, I lost a few cavalrymen there. But I managed to save the cav. I think he's doing a tactical retreat, giving up with these siege towers. And I don't know why he did this. He left his archers on the walls. I would have immediately pulled these guys out. I would have definitely gotten them out of there. Because then that's just a waste. These archers are going to die for no reason. Like, he could have saved these archers' lives if he pulled them out. 
we go back over here, uh, it looks like they're still moving the battering ram. So let's go back to where the action's all at. So Epirus is attacking alone here, which is really bad. Because he has to deal with the full front of the defender's force. Which, as you can see, uh, Epirus' front line of troops are getting absolutely overwhelmed. Now, he does have some more reserves. He's moving up some more siege towers. Uh, his ally right here is doing nothing. Or he might be moving these siege towers up, or he's just holding them still. And Swaby is not in this fight. Swaby is focusing on fighting me over here. I'm maneuvering troops around. Just gathering more infantry. Uh, oh, these are slingers. Oh, look at these. This position is beautiful. Look at this. Let's see them get a volley. Okay, Epirus is getting a little bit of a foothold here. Uh, but the Epirus troops over here just got absolutely destroyed. Like, I said, I think he's saying two units here. And they're absolutely just gone. Oh, and these guys are absolutely being pelted with slings. And we were trying to get rid of them as soon as possible. We were trying to get rid of their weak troops immediately. Over here by what my allies were trying to do. Oh, we missed it. But I sallied out my uh, swordsmen. Because I wanted to stop their advances. Because I knew if I let them get a foothold, I would take more casualties on the walls than I would have holding the walls. Like this, I'm going to take less casualties. Because if they took the archer tower, the archer tower got me so many kills. Look at these brave fighters. They're going to hold the line outside the settlement. I think this is the Bloodsworn as well. Yes, this is the Bloodsworn. So. Look, I quickly wrap up these troops. And I had like, I was trying to signal my ally to send some archers or slingers this way. I also want to burn the battering ram. I went straight for these wolf warriors, I believe. Yeah, wolf warriors. I want to eliminate as many infantry from Swaby as possible. Now, I lost a lot of infantry because they started opening fire with their archers. Or their slingers. Never mind, he brought pretty much all slingers. I did take some casualties because of that, but I felt like it was worth it in the end. Because I got rid of not just one, but two units here. I wanted to hold their advance at all costs. Let's go back to the main fight. Where it looks like the battle is heated up over here. We now have the other faction's military might fighting. Epper is saying more troops. Okay, it looks like uh, he pulled his archers out. We got a nice, what, uh, rectangular formation here. Where they're holding them in place into one position. I did not support this front. I was too busy with my tactics over on the other side. But they are taking a beating. And uh, again, a lot of their army is back there. So, nothing really to see here. Their army's like so far back. Like, maybe if I would have noticed, I could have took control of this siege weapon and could have just started hitting these archers. But I think I was too busy with the, uh, the attack here. I was trying to get rid of these units here. Like, I just beat and took out these warriors. Or no, was that the noble swordsman that fell? No, the noble swordsman that fell... And these fighters were continued to fighting. We destroyed both of them, though. 
I had set up my archers to take some to get rid of them. But that's all the fighting that happens over here. Let's get back to the main fighting. I do have some more engagement with the Swaby over there. Later. But for the most part, it's just back and forth fighting from there. Here we have a great foothold from the defenders. But the arrows and all that may be the difference here. Because we got wavering from some defending troops and the siege towers. More siege towers landed on the wall. Swaby is now in this fight. Yeah, Swaby is saying some forces in this fight. Which, my allies did everything they could just to hold this off. You can see they're saying in reserve, reserve. I start moving some forces down closer. Just to help out the best I can. Holding key positions in the rear in case they retreat. Because I was too busy with my own strategy of stopping the advancements of Swaby here. Because I didn't want them to advance any more than they already had. Like, I had quite a decent force. And I was preparing to send out another infantry unit. I took out, like, more than... I've lost two units. They've lost, like, three. Again, I this is just sitting in the waiting game over here. Let's get back to the fighting. Here, we just got more fighting. More Everest, uh... Everest infantry losing losing out here. In this battle, there's a lot of infantry. What is the cav doing out here? Why do we have some cavalry just standing there? Uh I believe this is our Vernie's cav. Oh, I think I know why. So, one of the defenders had left the game. That might have been Arverni. That would explain why his forces are showing up so rapidly and all that. Random times. Like, again, we still have a huge amount of forces here. We're holding off decent. Now, most of their armies have now made it up. We still have a lot of infantry to deal with and a lot of archers. Hopefully, we can hold out. Let's see what we're doing on uh, this front here. Oh. Here we go again. Uh, some infantry I sent out to go just go ahead and take care of them. Because they're saying ducks. We have this big pockets of fighting. We have pocket fighting happening here. With look at these spears. Oh, these are this is an amazing spear unit. What faction is this from? No way, these are archers. Oh no, this is a spear unit. I was about to say these are archers. <laughs> they're, oh, they're noble. No, that's. Oh, they're spear nobles. Okay, I was about to say there's no way those are. Oh, like, Noble Guard. Now here, in the battle, they start getting a foothold. Around this time, they start getting a foothold here at the front. Like, these spears are getting surrounded. Like, we start, they start breaking our force here. We, we end up falling back from this position just a bit. We got some archers. I believe these are the slingers we saw earlier firing from above. Look at them. They're just sitting there. You're like, yeah, yeah. Take out those Ar Arverni and other factions. We're just going to sit by in the back here next to this artillery where we can't get hit. 
They're just in the rear. Again, interesting strategy uh, here. They they fell back. Honestly, I would have probably if I was too not too focused on dealing with Swaby over on this front. I might have just done the same thing. I might have would have just gone and sent troops up and just keep them at the walls. Hey, our Vernie's Cav is coming in here, I think. Yeah, they're just getting straight down by these uh, Thorax Spears. No, th those are Thorax thorough Spears. We still have a huge pocket of fighting happening. We got some Royal Peltists. Uh, some Wolf Warriors. Some Noble Spears in there. A lot of fighting and a lot of arrows. You're, you're probably wondering, Green Kenobis, where, where's your force? I have them in reserve. I was actually saving my force. I was kind of being the person that holds back and was waiting for them when they need assistance. Kind of like the support player. I was mostly focusing on fighting Swaby here, though. As you can tell, I currently find the Sword Masters of Swaby with my noble swords. Again, I'm trying to stop them from getting a foothold. And these archer towers are doing damage over time. I eventually fall back from that position, though. This battle is just futile. And Swaby just gives up. Oh, we have a cav charge coming in. In the back of these sword masters. Ooh, that was an amazing charge. But unfortunately, that is the last you will see of this cavalry. I did not manage to save them. And here comes the general of Swaby. It's good every now and then, it's good to see a, a sally out from the def defenders. And the fact that I sallied out for once is actually very good for me like I was wanting like an outdoor battle in this battle and I I achieved it eventually I fall back my noble swords back into the settlement we fall back to where it seems like my allies have fallen back into defensive positions further back a bit again with a player down it is probably much harder because the troops are not moving. And the thing is, I don't know which which of my allies was AFK and which of them was just gone. And I knew it was not the attackers because if it, the attackers AI, they would either gone to the edge of the map or they would have just sallied all the troops in one point. So it was hard to tell. Honestly, I'm surprised we're, surprised we're still seeing some cavalry from Arverni. We got more reinforcements. Uh, looks like this is Spear Levy. Levy Freeman. This is Levy Freeman from Arverni. Arverni probably... Uh, I'm seeing a lot of cheap units from Arverni here. But they are holding the line. It looks like Swaby has a foothold on this. Uh, I'm starting to see lack of reserves from my allies. And this is where I start moving in some of my forces. I start moving in because I noticed that this is just a lost cause. I was like, I'm done sallying out. I'm just going to stay inside the settlement. So, I start moving in my troops to go help. Because I see opportunities. I see depleted units. I see where I can aid my ally. So, I have sent my mercenary, uh, mercenary guards, 
mercenary spears to go help aid to get rid of some of these depleted units. Then I started to advance, but if you if you can tell, I think I saw no. I think I was afraid of the archers because they had a they have huge amounts of archers left over. Like look at all these guys. Like, I think the whole reason they were trying to get uh, certain positions taken early on. In fact, we can now see that Swaby has not given up just yet, but I don't know how much that's going to last. Again, he's just going to lose more troops if he tries to fight against me. I've proven that. Here, though... If our backs were not to the, towards the enemy, we would probably have a very good standing battle on our side here. But because we're facing sideways, the archers are getting good shots on us. Like, look at all, all the amount of Emperor's soldiers here. We're starting to lose forces quickly and all that. <sighs> a lot of losses. And look, these are like a heavy infantry unit and they're being shot in the back by archers. That's bad. I start making a, a line here because I see that Ephorus. Did they come up the siege tower? No. I, I saw that Ephorus and there was a line for a flank. I also have another unit of spears here, and I start moving up more infantry, as you can see. Right now, I, I guess I did sally out a bit, because I thought I saw an opportunity to get rid of them. But then I noticed they were just setting their own, uh, their own, sea, their own siege weapon on fire. Their own battery ram, because it was stuck. I thought they were about to rearm the battery ram, so I sent down uh, my nobles my noble swordsman to fight no it was just empty and they just fell back so that was kind of just stalemate now here I've sent more infantry to hold the line against these Empress soldiers I've got shields up to hold position but the amount of arrows coming in it's going to take a toll on my infantry. Again, we're holding here with a thin line of infantry. Ooh, those are spears coming to my side. From the enemy, of course. I see breaking in the line. Like, the infantry here broke. We got more spear... Levy Freeman coming in to help, I think. And I noticed I need to pull these guys back. Because they could have just came over here and got behind my spears. So I gather my forces and I fall back. Because there was no chance I was going to win that with opportunities of the enemy flanking me. Now I was surprised. Swaby abandoned their attack on me. It came to help focus on the main front over here. Probably because he noticed this was getting nowhere. He probably noticed that he was not going to get anything out of this. And the siege weapon they did manage to destroy, but my gate... I think my gate was still shut. At this point in the battlefield, I'm moving my uh, swordsman to go help with the front lines. Because we're struggling here. I should have sent these four spears to go help hold here earlier, but I failed to notice, and the infantry here broke. But we have a nice battle line so far. Mostly my spears are holding the line right now, with some swordsmen of my ally. We're trying to hold for as long as we can. 
This battle was the hold. We were holding, trying to win by time. One of my depleted units of swordsmen arrived to help and aid. To take out this Epirus, uh, Epirus, uh, Royal Peltis. Trying to defeat the enemy here. But again, the amount of arrows coming in is really hurting us here. Look at the amount of infantry. They're now pouring in their infantry. Swaby still has a lot of swordsmen and all that. I can see that now. They're wolf warriors. Also, the berserkers were messing up the front lines here. You can see I've got a lot of my forces in here now. This is not my entire army, though. I, I, ha I am smart enough to keep my reserve forces here. These are my uh, noble spearmen. The heavy spearmen of my infantry. They're all in rear. Just preparing and waiting. Waiting for what? I'm not so sure. They're, they're, my plan was that we fall back after we already lost so much ground and hold from the final position to the victory point. That was my plan. As well as to hold as long as possible. I also was trying to burn down my own, uh, my own archer tower because I plan to hold here longer. And that thing is only going to cause more casualties on my side over time. I decided to fall back a little bit. So I could let the swordsman and my ally throw in their weapons. Of course, uh, they had to send in some forces. At this point... Most of my allies' army is destroyed. I'm doing everything I can to hold the line here for as long as possible. I noticed that they managed to capture that. I quickly tried to destroy it. So... It Smart move. He was using the top hill to hit the flank of my ally. Ally's force. And we got berserkers. The berserkers are the worst. And again, I brought mostly spears. I was planning to hold. I didn't plan to be a killing force. Mine was My plan was just to delay the enemy. And once my ally breaks here, I fall back to another position. At this point, they've now taken up here. I've evacuated all my forces to here. Which I forget about these archers and they get slaughtered by the enemy archers. I do manage to save these desert spearmen though. At this point in the battle... I'm pretty much holding the line here. My allies have been almost completely wiped out. A few a few infantry here and there from them. I'm trying to bring in the depleted infantry. And I can't just rec recklessly try to flank this unit. Because Swaby is watching their back. And their other ally. I have to just buy as much time. Like, maybe if I fell back sooner, I would stand a better chance. But I felt like I had to hold here for as long as possible. No, my men are not getting any more reinforcements other than these swordsmen. This is all that's l what's left is coming. And some returning uh, spearmen, of course. Some retur returning uh, Swabian spearmen. That's all that's left of my army that's coming to help reinforce. I was not going to send reinforcements into a losing battle like this. Not any more than I already had. 
I try to do something really good here. I try to get a flank and start do some damage to these noble swordsmen, thinking they're gonna flank me. They do some damage, but not much. And I think one mistake I made is I tried to rush through these noble swordsmen to attack these guys. It just got them killed and had them waver. So that was really bad on me. With this though, I'm pretty much just holding alone. Again, I plan to win by time. That's that's my strategy. I managed to hold back the berserkers. Now, one thing I did not notice until way later in the battle, if I can find them. Uh where are they? They must be up here already. Well, there's a unit of pikemen somewhere out there. Uh, is this it? No. Well, there's a unit of pikemen amongst this army's ranks. I did not notice until late game at my, la at my last defensive point. The Berserkers were doing so much damage to me, though. It was annoying. My army is all but in shambles. Or at least my weaker part of my army. I brought a total of 3,000 troops to the battlefield. But they stood no match against the numbers and the force of their heavy infantry and all that. My allies did the best they could to defend this area. I, I'm trying to hold here with the last of my forces. My spears and all of my army is just gone here. My ally, who's also just gone and out of here, left his force here. I was trying to coordinate with him through this battle, tell him to fall back his infantry back to the uh, final defense so we had a better chance of winning no I tried to get all these uh, these to roll down to try to kill some forces unfortunately uh, because of the map of pathfinding I didn't get it in time so, unfortunately, I did not get that in time. As you can see, I think I killed one. I killed one soldier with that. So, again, my army is just destroyed. The force that's gone, the, the person that's gone out of the games, force is here. It's just a slaughter. My infantry die. Guess we watched my infantry hold the last stand here. Oh, look, look at this brave noble sword out here. They're pushing him back. And we got like three people behind him saying, No, man, we got you. We got you covered. Oh, I didn't make it. They break here. Now here, uh, let's do a quick fast forward. We're doing a quick fast forward. The enemy is just moving around and all that. They slaughter my allies general here. And the infantry. I am regrouping, reforming the rest of my army here to try to hold out. I try to save these, uh, these other, this other unit of mine, my mercenary guard. 
he's the only other unit I have in the army. I'm trying to save them as... I, I barely save them by the skin of their teeth here. Because they're chasing me, and this is an exhausted unit. With a fresh or active unit here. I managed to get them behind my Desert Spearmen. That was so close. Epirus and all of them, like, look at how many forces they have left. This, this is how much they got. Now, a lot of them is archers, which is good. But still... Like, they have a spear unit, which I think is a general unit, if I remember. I'll, I'll uh, go to normal speed once we get back into some action here. Which we should get some action up right about now. Yes. They prepare some more berserkers. And, yeah, berserkers come after me. And they start torching this see this tower here, which I'm actually fine with. They can burn down that tower. It actually helps me and saves me from the trouble. Now what I have to do is I have to hold for about 20 minutes at this point. And with 6 minutes left on the battlefield, you can guess that I've already lost. I could have held out if it wasn't for the fact that the enemy had a hidden unit of pikes somewhere. If I can find that pike unit... Is this it? I think this was the royal pike unit here. If it wasn't for that pike unit, I think I would have survived and probably held out the time. I move in my heavy guard to hold off the berserkers. Berserkers are such a pain to fight against with spearmen. But all I had to do was try and hold. I feel bad for the retreating forces trying to escape. And here, Epirus finally moves in their forces to try to get rid of my spearmen up here. I try not to let that happen. Oh, look at that kill. These are Royal Peltists as well, so they're a heavy infantry unit. At this point, they have the general right here of Swaby, I'm pretty sure. I think I managed to get rid of these berserkers. No, these berserkers just go wild. And they send up more berserkers. They do such a good well of pushing through lines. Again, I got two infantry, uh, two spear units in reserve. My general. Everything's going well. Everything. Then I decided to fall back my troops to a better position. To hold from here. Now they start to bum rush my position with more infantry. Trying to push their way through. Which has me send in a reserve of my spearmen to go hold the line. And I hate that, uh, that the slingers could fire at a position of the flank of my infantry spears. It's also hitting their own troops, so that's a bonus. You can see I tried to, uh, I don't know why these guys did not run. I gave them the order to run. They refused to run back. Of course, I have more spearmen waiting to charge in. Uh, again, right now, it's just pretty much the berserkers. We got some, just more berserkers. They're throwing all the berserkers at me here. 
I move in another unit to hold the line. More of my infantry are falling. My last unit of reserves on standby. My general is now going on standby. As we are trying to hold here with all of our tro my troops here against the waves of berserkers just coming up the hill. And here we're trying to hold Epirus back. Like, the amount of ammo they had was still ridiculous. I did the best I could at trying to hold out and stall for time. Like, I believe I could have just held back and definitely took out these berserkers. But once I saw that these pi these pikemen were coming up, I knew my spearmen were going to shatter. Because as soon as I noticed that this was a pike unit, my infantry did not stand a chance here. They were going to open it up. Because that's what pikes do. They, they are... They're choke point killers. If you don't have any archers or anything to counter them, they're just choke point killers. And they can break through a choke point. I'm sending in my spear unit to hold against Epirus over here. And I've got no other choice but to send in my general at this point. Straight into pikes. Having to hold against this horde of berserkers, pikemen, archers. And they still have reserves left. This is all I've got. And the fact they still had ammo was impressive, to be honest. My opinion, I think I could have held out for 10 more minutes. If it wasn't for that pike unit. And that is the end of the battle. I hope you've enjoyed this battle re replay. This was an amazing 3v3. 3 versus 3. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe.